Hello and welcome back to the UCCX Administration and Scripting course. My name is Anas. I'm a senior collaboration engineer with CCI certification. In the first session, we have covered UCCX basic call flow and terminologies. And in the second session, we have covered the UCCX integration with Cisco Unified Communications Manager and its configuration. In this session, we are going to cover UCCX scripting, specifically menu scripting. I have classified this session into four categories. The first one is going to be familiarizing the script editor. Next, we will familiarize the Audacity tool, which is an open source audio editing software. And then we will look into how we can upload the audio file to UCCX. And then we will look into designing a script logic. It is really important to understand how we can design a script logic. And then we will look into how we can actually start writing the script, then setting the variables, accepting the calls and terminating them. And we will be looking into the menu scripting. And after we have completed the scripting, we will look into how we can validate the script that we have programmed. Finally, we will be uploading the script to UCCX and attaching them to the CSA, that is Cisco script application. And we will do some test calls to validate the script that we have designed is working as per our requirement. Without further delay, we will look into the script editor tool. We will go to UCCX administration page. Let's go to tools, plugins, and we can select Cisco Unified CCX editor installer for Windows. We will click on this particular link. We will download it. The download has been completed. For the sake of this particular session, I have already downloaded the software and installed it. Open the CCX editor. I'll give the password. This is the landing page of Cisco Unified CCX Editor. We have an option to create a new file. By default, we can see a start and end step in this UCCX script. Now let's go to the slide. Now we will familiarize the Audacity tool. Open the Audacity tool. I'll click New. Audacity is an open source audio editing software. We can use this tool to generate the audio uh, in a particular file format so that we can feed into the UCCX. We only need to pay attention to very few details. Here in the bottom side, bottom left hand side, you can see project rate. We will mark into, we'll, we will select 8000 and we will go to the menu bar, tracks, add new, mono track and we will hit record now the tool has started recording now we can hit stop now we will have to export the file go to file export export as wave file we will name it as test.wave and make sure the file type is wave and encoding as MULO. We could either select MULO or ELO. For the sake of the session, I'm selecting MULO here. Hit save. Click OK. Now the file is exported to the directory. Let's go to the directory. You could see the test file is generated here. For this session, I have already generated few audio files and I also have uploaded the same to the UCCX. Now let's familiarize how we can upload the generated audio files to the UCCX. Go to UCCX Administration page Application Prompt Management Select any of the folder I have created a directory named as UCCX Training 
under uccx training i have uploaded all the files by dot wave pressed one dot wave and every other file now let's go back to the slide now the next step is designing the script logic for this i have a new slide this script is designed for a learning portal where a user call in to the contact center number and a user will be hearing press 1 for learning center executive and press 2 for admission center executive and press 3 for front office executive and in case the user did not enter any of the value within the given time we will be playing a prompt to the user that the given time is exceeded and if the user is entering a value which is other than one two or three we will be playing a prompt to the user informing that this is an unsuccessful attempt so now let's look at the flow here when a call comes into the script the script will be hitting the start step every script in uccx will be confined within a start and end step and then after the start step the call will be forwarded to the accept step where the uccx accept the call at this point of time you will see the caller phone in the connected state that means the uccx has accepted the call and then the call will be forwarded to the menu step where menu step is having a capability of playing a prompt to the user saying that press 1 for learning center executive and then press 2 for admission center executive and press 3 for front office while the menu step is playing the prompt to the user it has a capability to accept the input when the user press 1 then it will be playing a prompt that is associated to the digit 1 similarly when the user press 2 uccx will be playing the prompt that is associated to the digit 2 and same is the case with the digit 3 after that the script control come out of this menu step and will be reaching the terminate step and finally it will reach the end step let's go back to the previous slide now let's start programming a new script let's go to the uccx so here we have opened the new script first of all we will be defining the variables that we need to use in this script here we will click new variable we will select the type prompt and we will name lce1 and the value we will be giving the value will be the url or the directory of the prompt so we will be giving the url click ok we'll create a new one create a new one prompt name ACE admission center executive 2 we will be giving the value press ok new variable type prompt name front office executive press 3 uh, for the digit 3 and the value let me copy the value and click ok and again let's create a new variable for welcome prompt variable name welcome now the value click ok new variable type equal to prompt name by value click ok create new type prompt name timeout value click ok 
now create new type string name my csq value i will leave it blank and click ok i'll do the checkbox here for the parameter and click ok now we have all the required variables for this script now we will go to the contact directory and we will select the accept step and we will drag it on start menu so that it will come below the start menu and we will also select the terminate step and we will select it on the accept one so that it will come below the accept so as we have discussed before the script is confined within a start and the end step and also it is confined within an accept and terminate step now we will select a menu step we will go to media menu select and drop it on accept step and we will expand the menu step by default we are seeing timeout and unsuccessful label here we will click on properties and we can select the prompt here welcome prompt will be selecting and we will go to the input timeout is mentioned here maximum retries is 3 we will leave it as default value and filter we will add as LCE learning center executive press 1 and for admission center executive we will select 2 and for front office executive we will press 3 now for SE it is here ACE 2 LCE 1 FOE 3 click apply ok now we have three labels added here now let's bring a play prompt step here and drop it on top of LCE and similarly we will do it on ACE and FOE and timeout and unsuccessful so for LCE we will select prompt as LCE1 apply ok now for ACE we will select prompt ACE2 apply ok now for FCE we will select FOE apply OK now for timeout click properties prompt timeout apply OK now unsuccessful we will select by prompt by OK now what we can do is to make it even more realistic what we can do is we can go for we will select consult transfer after playing the prompt we'll go for a consult transfer and uh, here after playing prompt for ACE2 we will go for a call redirect and uh, for FOE front office agent we are assuming there are couple of agents in the front office ready to accept the call so we will make it as a resource group so we will be selecting the CSQ uh, kind of stuff here for that we will go to ACD and we will select resource select resource and we will select it here and uh, for let's configure the call consult transfer here if it is successful 
click on properties and select the destination destination has to be in string value we will copy the destination we will select Muhammad Ali extension we will select this extension and we will go to the script editor we will put in here timeout is ok click apply ok now for call redirect we will go to properties now destination we will select another extension here or DID here we will go for 2004 Mike Tyson go to script editor destination in double quotes click apply ok now select resource we will select properties now CSQ we will select my CSQ and click apply ok now for timeout we will simply play a prompt we won't do any other actions on timeout uh, section and even for unsuccessful we will simply play a prompt and finally uh, the script will come out of the menu section and it will be terminating and finally it will go for the end step now the script is completed now we will go for validation tools click validate validation is complete we will hit save save as we will go to we will name it as demo script and hit save now the script is completed we will go to UCCX we will go to applications script management now upload scripts browse demo script We'll select this one upload upload is successful go to applications now the next step is going to attach this particular script to an application go to application management CSA now we will select demo script and here we are getting a welcome prompt okay modify variable parameter is not needed okay now here my csq is parameter okay now we will save the script file save now we will go to uccx and upload the script script management upload script browse demo script upload overwrite ok yes now let's go to application now we have to attach the uploaded script to an application go to application management CSA now we have my CSQ here I will select my CSQ in double quotes I'll hit update now we have everything in place now we will test the call to we'll try to dial into the trigger number here hit dial hello Welcome to the UCCX Administration and Scripting course. If you are interested in learning more about the course, press 1. If you like, you have pressed 1, transferring your call to Learning Center Executive. That's working. So we will end the call here. Now we will test the option 2. Dial. Hello, welcome to the UCCX Administration and Scripting course. If you are interested in learning more about the course, 
plus one. If you would like to enroll in the course, plus two. For more plus details, two. you have plus two transferring your call to admission center executive. I'm getting a call here on the soft phone. I have my soft phone connected here, so I have received the call on the soft phone. I'll end the call here. Now we will test the timeout. Hello, welcome to the UCCX administration and scripting course. If you are interested in learning more about the course, press 1. If you would like to enroll in the course, press 2. For more details, press 3. Are you still there? Hello, welcome to the UCCX administration and scripting course. If you are interested in learning more about the course, press 1. If you would like to enroll in the course, press 2. For more details, press 3. Are you still there? Hello, welcome to the UCCX administration and scripting course. If you are interested in learning more about the course, press 1. If you would like to enroll in the course, Press 2. For more details, press 3. Sorry, timed out. Try again. So here the script has reached into the timeout level. It has tried three times. Still the user did not uh, enter any input. So it reached the timeout logic and terminate the session. So that's all about menu scripting. So I hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned for upcoming scripting series. Thank you for watching.